when you're in a situation of having to make critical decisions, you want to have the maximum amount of oxygen in your brain. However, the oxygen in the brain may be limited by the low level of carbon dioxide. The low level of carbon dioxide would usually be caused by anxiety. So when you're in a situation where you actually have to make those critical decisions, you're probably going to be a bit more anxious. Or any anxiety situation that may arise, it actually would lower your carbon dioxide level down. The normal level of carbon dioxide is a password for you to be able to access the oxygen in your brain. Very similar to, let's say for example, you had deposited some money in the bank account and you forgot the password. Now you go and you know, you're trying to withdraw the money, but you can't because you forgot your password. So in this situation, the password is a regular level of carbon dioxide. If you have anything less than 35 millimeter of partial pressure of carbon dioxide, you're not going to be able to access fully the oxygen that's actually within you. Most of the oxygen in the brain in the body is actually bound to the hemoglobin. So the low level of carbon dioxide makes the hemoglobin more sticky to the oxygen, therefore it's less likely to give up the oxygen. The low level of carbon dioxide also causes the reduction in the production of nitric oxide. And one of the role of the nitric oxide is to actually cause what we call vasodilation, which is really increasing the size of the blood vessels. So by decreasing the size of the blood vessel because you have less nitric oxide, it actually causes a decrease in the blood flow to the brain. The low level of carbon dioxide reduces the production of nitric oxide which causes a decrease in the blood flow to the brain. The low level of carbon dioxide also causes the hemoglobin to be more sticky to the oxygen, therefore less oxygen is available to the brain. In order for you to maximize the amount of oxygen in your brain to be able to utilize by your brain cells, you need to build up the carbon dioxide level to at least 35 millimeter partial pressure. Thank you for watching the video and please do subscribe so we can produce more videos in the future. Thank you.